Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, again, I, wanna, I want to welcome all of you to our Eucharistic celebration to recognize all immigrants. Bienvenidos todos a nuestra celebración eucarística para reconocer y celebrar a todos los inmigrantes. As we know, America has always been exceptional in the family of nations. Because from the beginning, this was not a nation defined by territory or by a specific race or people. America, from the beginning, was about a dream. We all know the uh, beautiful Latin expression, a pluribus unum. Out of many races, languages, traditions, and beliefs, we form one nation, one family. All of us, children of God. This is the dream. This is the, the vision that we are celebrating today. Ese es el sueño americano. De muchos, uno. De muchas naciones, una familia. Todos hijos de Dios. It is also a special day in the Catholic Church because today is the birthday of St. John the Baptist. And as I'm sure you notice, the three readings that we just heard from Sacred Scripture talk about children and family. Our first reading describes the birth of the prophet Isaiah. And the second reading speaks of Abraham's children and the descendants of David. Finally, the gospel tells us the drama that surrounded the birth of St. John the Baptist. We also heard a beautiful psalm today. Truly, you have formed my inmost being. You knit me in my mother's womb. The beautiful truth is that every life matters to God. Your life and mine, everyone. He is with us in the joys and the struggles of every day. As we carry the gospel today, God delights in a mother's love for the child in her womb. He wants to see mothers and fathers united with their children, neighbors, and relatives. In the church, we are God's people, his family. And he gives us the duty to take care of one another. He calls us to speak out against injustice, to make things right when they are wrong. This is why we fight for the life and dignity of every child who is trying to be born. And that is why we are all so concerned right now for the children that our government has separated from their parents at the southern border of our country. We have, as we know, thousands of children in facilities that are hundreds of miles away from their parents. Our government says that it will take months, months, before these little ones are reunited with their mothers and fathers. We need to pray today for those little ones and their parents. And especially, we need to pray for our politicians and for all citizens of goodwill. May all of us open our hearts to the voice of God, who reminds in the first reading for today's Mass that we are all his children. The Lord called me from birth, from my mother's womb, he gave me my name. Ante la realidad de la situación migratoria de tantos de nuestros hermanos y hermanas 
especialmente de todos los niños que han sido separados de sus padres recientemente. Pedimos hoy a Dios nuestro Señor por todos ellos, para que puedan reunirse con sus padres cuanto antes. Pero también pedimos por nuestros gobernantes y todos los ciudadanos de buena voluntad, para que todos, todos, abramos nuestros corazones a la palabra de Dios, que nos recuerda que somos todos una sola familia, la familia de Dios. Migrants and refugees built America. And they are still making this country great. And the truth is that America needs more immigrants, not less. My dear brothers and sisters, our country needs you. America needs your immigrant spirit of hard work and faith in God. We need your spirit of self-sacrifice and the way you place the highest value on your children and families. So we cannot be discouraged by the voices of fear and ugliness. We need to keep our eyes on Jesus. We need to keep listening to his voice. God will never leave his people alone. In every time and place, he raises up prophets like Isaiah and John the Baptist to call out injustice, to point out the way for us to go. And God is calling us in this moment to be his servants, to, he, to be his co-workers in renewing the soul of America. His hand is with us. He's calling us to be a light to our nation, to help make this country what it was meant to be. America nos necesita a todos y cada uno de nosotros. Y Dios nuestro Señor, nuestro Señor nos llama a colaborar con Él para renovar el alma de este país. Nos llama a hacer luz y ayudar a que este país sea lo que Dios quiere que sea. In today's passage of the gospel, we hear about the birth of St. John the Baptist, who was the first to proclaim the coming of Jesus. It is interesting to hear that people were surprised by his birth, and they said, what then will this child be? For surely the hand of the Lord was with him. The child grew and became strong in spirit, and he was in the desert until the day of his manifestation to Israel. My brothers and sisters, the word of God is our word of hope. And in this moment, when we are so worried about the children that our government has taken from their parents, we need to remember that they are children of God and that he is with them always. We need to pray that they will be treated with mercy and compassion. And we need to work hard so that these little ones will be set free and reunited with their parents. So together, they can dream the American dream and do great things in this country. And then as we know, there are nearly two million more children who have been living inside our borders for almost their entire lives. Some are now in their 20s and 30s. They're dreamers too. And my brothers and sisters, we need to help set them free too. For years now, we have been asking our leaders to fix our broken immigration system. Year after year, they keep telling us, mañana, mañana, tomorrow, tomorrow, next year. Makes no difference which political party is in power. There is always some excuse. And our leaders in Washington are about to do it again. They are about to let another Congress close without taking action. Mañana, mañana. My brothers and sisters, we need to tell our leaders, no more mañanas, no more excuses. The time is now. 
there is compromise legislation in Congress, as you know, that the Catholic Church supports. It is called the USA Act. This bill has brought bipartisan support. It will permanently protect the dreamers from deportation and provide them a path to become citizens. It will also strengthen security along our nation's borders. Let's pray and insist that our leaders in the House of Representatives allow a debate on this bill. And we need to talk to our neighbors. We need to help them understand that the status quo is morally wrong. We cannot ignore this any longer. And we cannot pretend that we are not all implicated. The inaction of our government is breaking up families and hurting children, and do it in, in our name, in the name of America. This injustice has been going on for a long time. It did not start with this administration. But it will not stop until we all, good people, end their silence and speak up for what is right. It is the time for all of us to become more active, helping our elected officials to understand that it is the time to uh, come up with a definitive immigration reform. So my brothers and sisters, let us all keep praying for our nation and working hard for immigration reform in the weeks to come. Let us ask St. John the Baptist and our saints whose relics are here present to help us to follow their example, proclaiming the love and mercy of God in these times when so many people feel angry and afraid. And let us keep working for a new spirit of compassion and love, especially for the weakest and most vulnerable among us. May our Blessed Mother be near to, be near to every child and every parent suffering separation along our brothers, borders these days. And may she help every one of us to share in the American dream. Pedimos a Nuestra Madre Santísima, María de Guadalupe, que esté especialmente cerca de todos los niños y sus padres que están sufriendo en la frontera. Y que ella nos ayude a todos a hacer realidad el sueño americano de ser todos la familia de Dios. Que viva la Virgen de Guadalupe.